I'm going to address this tactic in law enforcement that's very common across the country. It's the random play check. And here's why I'm addressing it, because sometimes people really misunderstand what I'm saying when I say this is a very ineffective tool. So a lot of cops will get very defensive about this because what they'll say is, well, I only have one car that passes every 25 minutes where I work. I'm in a desolate place. So it's another tactic that I employ to maybe find something. I understand, and that makes sense. But for most cops who work in suburbia or city environments, this tactic is not gonna serve you well. Let's talk about why it won't serve you well. Number one, when you run a random plate, what does it even tell you? Does it tell you about the vehicle status, the owner status of the vehicle? That's about it. Uh, maybe the car is stolen. That's really all it tells you. Hypothetically speaking, if somebody borrowed a car that was properly registered and the owner had no issues with their license but was wanted for a homicide as they were driving if you ran the random plate you would have no idea you would have no clue that they were wanted for a homicide because what your information told you back is everything's fine if somebody had 10 kilos of cocaine in the trunk of the car and you ran the random plate and it came back that everything was fine in the same scenario then you would just think okay they passed the test according to what i'm looking for there is no violation of unregistered vehicle or a driver's license suspended so the reason why we talk about this tactic being super ineffective is the examples i just set forth when's the last time you ran a random plate and it said somebody in the car is wanted for murder or raping kids or or has 10 kilos in the trunk of the car. That never happened. So if you're looking for those things, we know that running random plates is not gonna equal that result. 